Hi YouTube, my name is Dr. Margolin, we're here at Comprehensive Pain Management Institute, we're a co-provider of pain management practice at Ohio. We uh, provide educational video materials for our patient on topic of opioid epidemic. We got several requests to uh, make this uh, information available to general public. Let me talk for a few minutes on why is it important and why it is of interest um, to general public. Um, and what this education can achieve. In 2017, 172,000 people passed away in the United States, mostly young people, from issues related uh, to opioid epidemic, mostly opioid overdose. This is astounding number. That means in 2017, uh, our nation lost uh, three times more people than in 10 years of Vietnam War. It also means that every month in 2017, more people died from opioid epidemic than in 9-11. Um, it, it, it happens across cultures, across social economic strata. Um, every day, 5,800 people, and this is old statistics, I believe it's more, unfortunately, but at least 5,800 people in the United States misused opioid prescriptions for the first time. Every day, 1,000 people are treated in the ER for prescription misuse, and unfortunately, I think, I believe it, this, this data also uh, dated, and unfortunately, it's, uh, it's an anniversary recently. This is one of the most popular um, pain management magazines called Pain Management News. Came out with, in April with the title, Opioid Overdose Now Leads to More Deaths Than Motor Vehicle Accidents. And obviously anybody who gets driver's license goes for a, the first time, goes to a course, takes precaution, checks the bells, checks the agent, transmission, safety, um, <clears throat> uh, scoring of the car. But unfortunately, people don't get formal education on what they can do to stay safe, keep their loved ones safe, on what they need to do if they believe there is a problem, or how they react if there is a potential problem. What do you tell your kids uh, if they approach at school or in the mall um, by drug dealers, if their friends using uh, controlled substances, uh, what happens if you have chronic pain and you are concerned that you, can, that you can develop addiction? These are the topics of our channel. And uh, uh, we also go for different classes of opioids. We'll describe different addiction potentials. We'll talk about other um, controlled substances. And we will eventually talk about uh, what can you do uh, if your loved one is... Um, um, demonstrating aberrant drug seeking or addictive behavior has been diagnosed um, or what you can do if you uh, have chronic pain and you want to prevent this problem. Let's start on what the problem is. Uh, what is commonly called addiction is named substance use disorder in DSM-5 which is obviously divided mild, moderate, and severe, with moderate to severe substance use disorder is equivalent to what's commonly called addictive behavior or other drug-seeking behavior. And there are several um, components um, to this problem. There is a tolerance to medications, meaning that the person is high in higher doses to achieve a desired effect. Person feels withdrawal if he doesn't take the substance. And by the way, um, this phenomena are not unique for um, opioid medications. People can develop um, similar addictive patterns towards uh, uh, alcohol, um, towards uh, benzodiazepines and other non-opioid medications, and even towards food, gambling, games, and so on. Craving for substance, unsuccessful efforts to cut down. A uh, person spends excessive time in acquisition uh, of this substance. And person has limited activity or social life because of use of that substance or activity. Now, uh, even though many of this sounds obvious when it's clinically significant or that's a, that we have the full picture of addictive disorder at early stages, it cannot be so clear-cut, 
and we will talk on when and how to turn to professional and what um, uh, what can be done to assess and differentiate between different variations um, of the syndrome. Once the addiction develops, it's characterized by use of substance or activity despite negative effects. It means the person is aware of the negative effects, but nevertheless keeps using uh, dysfunctional aberrant behavior or misusing the substance. There is failure to fulfill major role obligation because of use or um, aberrant activity. And there is a recurrent use of substance or recurrent activity in hazardous situation. It's a compulsive behavior. And many people start with reading with a person without understanding that in many cases, person understands the problem, understand the negative effects, understand the functional impairment and uh, the danger involved, but nevertheless, cannot stop the um, compulsive behavior. Um, our next topic would be to differentiate between clinical to tolerance, which is normal, abnormal addiction, to look closer on these effects and to give you some instructions on what can be done if um, somebody around you, your loved one, your significant father, demonstrate these problems. Uh, thank you so much for watching our channel. Uh, please subscribe. Uh, please, if you like the content, please um, um, give us thumbs up. It means, means the world to us. And I want to uh, thank our uh, manager, um, Shanek Houston, and um, uh, Daniel Margolin for uh, making this channel possible. Thank you. Hey guys, like and subscribe our channel, please. Thank you. Uh, I'm someone who has been in severe pain now for, let's see, eight years. And during those eight years, I've got some pain relief, but never a lot of pain relief. And um, I was starting to get pretty hopeless. When you're in great pain for a long time, you, you really wonder how much you want to go on. And when you get someone who respects you, who listens to you, and who tries things that nobody else bothered to try, you start, things start looking up and all of life starts feeling better. And one of the, my great joys in life was helping other people. And I've been in too much pain to be a helper to other people. And now I, I look forward to getting back to life. So I really appreciate Dr. Markle, and, and I think he will too. Hi, my name is Louis Lamar, and I've been coming to see Dr. Golden for about five years. He has always helped me with my pain because I have back pain, hip pain, and he has always been there for me. And I uh, recommend anybody that need help come to Dr. McGoldy. He's a true doctor and he's a true friend. Thank you.